a sneaky Linux Mac tonight. Tonight I've got PC Linux OS KDE 4.4, but the Mini Me version. Now, Mini Me basically means you don't get nothing. So I'll just go through with you. Lock panel, leave, time, notifications, sound, network, clipboard, run along here. Two workspaces, you can have as many as you like. Synaptic, Dolphin as your file manager, configure your computer, configure your desktop, show the desktop, no devices plugged in, and your menu launcher. Super duper. Home, all there, look. Add a local, so if you want a different language, set up your firewall. I ain't done that yet, I must get around to doing that. Get open office, because it doesn't come with any office apps whatsoever. Network center and trash. Trash is empty, because I've just freshly installed this on my little hard disk drive thingy. Back to the menu. More applications, configuration, all there. You've got Google widgets there, but as you've got KDA, you don't really want them, will you, really? Now, terminals, three terminal, that's super. Bit of help there. See, there's nothing here, really, is there? Nothing whatsoever. Okay, you get Dolphin and Congra, blah, 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 blah. Nothing in the internet, nothing in office. Well, you get, op get open office, but that's about it. Software Center. Synaptic is the only one really to use. K mix for sound. That's all you get. It's around about 300 meg smaller than the standard download. And basically, they've made this so you can just install what you want with the KDE desktop. Which I'm getting to like a bit more, actually, to be honest with you. So I'm going to add a widget for you. Excuse me. Got a bit of a cold coming. So, binary clock. Look, there's loads and loads there. Loads and loads there. Sorry about this bit of the video. I lost a bit of the bar there. Somewhere along the line. I just couldn't cope with all the barring things I was doing. So anyway, we're going to go and find something to add. Now we're just going to add a clock or something like that. You know, something simple. You know, we're going to find something... Go along, we're going along, we're going along. Oh, look. Fuzzy clock. We'll chuck a fuzzy clock up. What is fuzzy clock? Or we're just about to find out. There we go. Oh, just five to four. Not that that's the time. Now, when you install it, it doesn't give you an option to put the time in correctly. So you have to do it afterwards once the actual system's installed. Which is a bit unusual. But hey, they all have their quibbles and the bits and bobs that they do, these different distros, don't they? On my hard drive at the moment, I've got about 110 ISOs for different distros. So what I haven't seen ain't worth knowing, really, to be honest with you. Blimey. And I've got some weird ones, and ones that don't even work. They're the best ones, you know. You spend all the time downloading them, and trying to install them, and they don't work. Because they're not too good. The next time you go to them, they work. That's super duper. Okay, back to the menu. No, I won't go to the menu. We'll get to Synaptic. Let's install something. Let's do something. Yeah, 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 put me root password in, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, it's not really. I just said that. I'm into Synaptic. Now I don't want Open Office because I don't really use use it really to be honest with you. So Abbey Word's fine for me. So I'm going to type in Abbey Word. Abbey Word comes up. Super. So just click that mark for installation. But if you, look at all the extras you've got on top of that. Oh, by the way, this is all the stuff you actually need. Look at all the extras you get. Apart dictionaries, Abbey Grammar, Maplefish, Claris Works. I said the other night, do people actually still use that? Well, I'm not too sure myself. There's loads and loads and loads of plugins. So if you don't really want the full Open Office suite, of, I think it's nearly about 300 meg, if, especially if you're on Windows, about 300 meg. And it still doesn't work properly, does it? Because you need to get bits and bobs. Anyway, so I'm downloading the packages. I'm going to cut that video really quick, look, because it was taking so long. And that install. Oh, I cut quite a bit of this video actually because I had to get another 10 minutes. Otherwise, we're not allowed to post, are we? Bit of a bummer. So, we're applying changes anyway. Here we go. Look. No, it's not Guchumapama. I don't know what it is. Ah, that's better. Full featured. Every word. Love it. It's installed now. Almost. I'm just to wait a little bit. Then, as usual, Synaptics reloads all its stuff after we've done this and basically we're ready to go. There we go, look. Abbey Word, we're there. Super duper. So I'm going to close Synaptic down. That's a little bit of annoyance when you have a full screen, when you close the thing down, you get that pop up. That's a bit of a bummer. So I've loaded Abbey Word up. Look at that. Nice. Nice, simple. Sync of all the documents you want to do. 
no problem. It's 2.81, nice. It will do you. If all you want to do is write documents and you're not worried about anything else like databases, just get every word, don't get up in office, it's just wasting this space really in the day, isn't it? Okay, configure your computer. Let's have a look at that, shall we? So anyway, opens up. You have to put your root password in again. We put it in. Up it comes. Look lovely. I like it. Super. Yeah, network services, JSPG. Configure time. Configure time. I'm going to do configure time. Yes. Because my time is not right, is it? Because it's quite late here now. Not at that time. So you click on next. That's thing for you. Yeah, it's lovely. Click next again. Now I'm not in America. I'm in the United Kingdom. Or GB, as they say here. Or Great Britain. Lovely. Because we are great. We click next. And next again. First little problem I had. It failed on one. So I thought, oh, bummer. But it carried on. As you can see, look. Carried on, carried on, carried on. And started it. We'll finish it. We'll finish it. There we go. All done. Now, in theory, we'll get me time. And see, my local time is my right time. So, in about a minute or so, that will change the clock. I don't know why it does this. Everyone I've done with PC Linux OS does the same thing, a bit weird really. Set up a graphical server, which you need to do your desktop properly, set up your scanners, printers, it's all there. If you used PC Linux OS before, you know what to expect. But now with KDE 4. I think it's 4.4, which I'm sure it's 4.4, you get all the extras. And if you want extra widgets, you can add them any time you want really. So configure your desktop. Same KDE feel. Say KD, same KT, look, excuse me, it's Saturday night, it's very late, I just wanted to get this one out. So you can do whatever you want to these and change anything you really want to. If you've used KD before, you know what to expect. So, I've just got to this bit, audio CDs, auto star, I've just scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. You can just change anything you really want to. This is the whole point of Linux. You can make it as difficult or as easy as you want. You don't have to be set with set given ways to do things, which is why we all use it to use Linux. Now, I don't use KDE on my home system. I actually use GNOME and LXD and XFC. Oh my god, I'd use too many. I really need to just go to one for like a couple of months and see how we go, really. So, anyway, this is Conqueror. This is their own browser, or they said it was their own browser, or the generic browser. But hey, it's Conqueror at the end of the day. Some people may not want Conqueror. I do. It's fine. No problem for me. I've never had any problem with it. I've been using it for bleeding years and years and years now. But say you don't want Conqueror, you want something a bit more. Ooh, up to the minute. You go back to Synaptic. Type in your password, yeah. And we go and find something else. Now, normally you go like Firefox or Opera. Well, now what I'm going to do, Midori. Because that's a really, really, really light browser. So we typed in Midori there, as you can see. Yeah, we're there to download. It's all in the repos. There's nothing in PC Links OS that you can't get really at the end of the day. Although I found some on earlier versions, but the new version I've not had any problems whatsoever. So I've downloaded Midori. I had to cut the video there, as you can see, because it would have taken too long and be under ten minutes. And we're there, basically. We're all there. We're all installed. Let's go and use it. We'll go back to our menu. We'll go to Internet. Midori's here. Let's boot her up. Lovely. Midori is really, really, really quick. But what I will tell you now, you will have to install Flash manually. It doesn't come auto-installed in Midori or anything you get with PC Linux OS, by the way. Not that I've found so far. But I'm using Mini-Me, so it's the basic one. And I like it that way. I like it that way completely. So on the whole, PC Lynx OS, KDE 4.4, Mini Me, big, 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 big thumbs up. I might even change myself.